People often ask us what we do all day when we're just sailing around. Well, besides actually sailing the boat and spending quite a bit of time fixing things, we make our living producing award-winning television programs about traveling to amazing destinations by boat. We've been filming the Distant Shores Sailing Adventure TV series since 1998. The show has been translated into 28 languages and is seen by millions on television stations around the world. I wanted to see the world. I longed for the romance of travel. Now we live on a sailboat. And travel the oceans. Join us as we sail to distant shores. So here's a peek into how we make our sailing television video series and what it costs to produce. Sometimes to tell a story, we just need a few shots. When we sailed to the British Channel Islands, we experienced tides nearly 40 feet high. In order to show just what such big tides meant, we waited for good weather and set up a camera showing the tidal gate at the marina. This single shot took over eight hours, all our battery packs and camera chips. Plus, we had to stay with the camera for the duration. Luckily, the shot was worth it. Sometimes the time-lapse shot helps understand a subject. In this case, the humble conch as we shoot underwater in the Virgin Islands. Speeding up the shot shows how they move around, eating algae off the grass on the bottom. Unfortunately, it was an expensive shoot. Our $6,000 underwater camera and professional housing developed a leak that ended up meaning nearly $2,000 in repair bills. Many people ask if we have a film crew travel with us to get the shots we need for the television show. The answer is no, we film the whole thing ourselves. But in this case, Cheryl climbed aboard a friend's boat to get these great shots of Distant Shores 2 sailing up the Seine River in France. We got some shots of their classic yacht as well. Crossing the French canals that year was a 10-week shoot, making five half-hour television shows. Cheryl lugged our big camera and tripod all over the place to get shots showing the historic lock system. I should have got a shot of her out in the field, getting this shot. Back in 2005, we had an opportunity to sail to Syria and the Middle East. We spent a few days in Aleppo, met some great locals, and got right into the culture. The effort and the goal was that I would walk down the street and people wouldn't say, ah, oh, where are you from? Canada? England? <laughs> Liverpool? Arsenal? No. But it doesn't work. They still say that. Then now they will make sure you are a tourist. Now they know I'm a tourist. With all this complicated... <laughs> com <laughs> com complicated. We, think we like to go. We like, yes. Yes, they should buy that. Like Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> yes. Sometimes you have to seize the day, and I'm glad we took the chance when we could. In the Caribbean, we filmed an 11-part series of videos on anchoring. In this one on deep anchorages, I free dive down to set the camera up on the bottom, in this case 50 feet down, then go back to the surface to catch my breath. Cheryl backs up the boat to pull the anchor, and I watch how it performs with short scope. The camera is running the whole time until I bring it back up. The anchoring series took a few weeks to film and another week to edit, but it was worth it to document this for sailors. Sometimes we get to a place that's just so gorgeous we need to try unique ways to capture the image. In this case, putting our camera up on a pole. Hmm, the second time it works. I also take one of our little GoPros up to grab high angle shots, but sometimes we leave the camera up the mast for a while to help compress time for TV. I've installed a permanent mounting bracket in a few places around the boat. On average, we spend 10 days shooting to come up with one 24 minute television show. Over the 10 days, we shoot more than six hours of footage, and that needs to be edited down to the 24 finished minutes. A typical 24 minute show will have over 200 cuts in the timeline. There is nearly eight hours needed just to complete the final audio mix for one show. Have we made a million dollar sailing video series? Well, we've been filming Distant Shores since the year 2000, and it's been our full-time job since then. We've spent over $100,000 on camera gear and editing systems in that time. 
We've invested more than a week's time in the studio, scripting, editing, and finishing each of the 136 episodes we've made, and plenty more time dealing with the business of television, preparing scripts for the language versions, and more. In the end, if we've done our job well, it looks like we just sail around enjoying this beautiful planet. Hopefully you've enjoyed our programs over the years. It always helps us when we receive feedback from viewers. Back in the day when we were just on television around the world, before social media, we met fans who had been affected by the show. Now with social media and YouTube, we can get more feedback, and it helps us know if we're on the right track. We want to help people get out cruising and exploring distant shores around the world. So please give us a thumbs up or add a comment below. And if you know someone who'd like to check out Distant Shores, please share this video. Are you interested in the cruising lifestyle? Are you planning to sail away on a cruising adventure? Or researching cruising areas and destinations? Distant Shores is a television series about the cruising life with lots of tips for sailors planning to sail away. This is Oswego, New York. We are entering the Erie Canal system, and this will take us all the way from Lake Ontario to the Hudson River, which gets us to New York City. Plus destination information to help you make your cruising plans. Yeah, I can stand on the bottom. We've been filming distant shores for nearly 15 years and know the fun and challenges of the cruising life. We've made distant shores with you in mind. We include plenty of cruising tips in this travel series as well as lifestyle segments and hints for sailors heading to exotic destinations. Encouragement for you and your crew to get out cruising. Destinations include the Intracoastal Waterway, the Bahamas, Caribbean, the Mediterranean, Scandinavia, transatlantic passage making, the French canals and more. <laughs>